Hello? Hi, this is Vice Principal Gary from Middle School. I'm looking for Mr. or Mrs. Uh, yeah, this is Mr. How you doing? I'm good. Sorry to bother you, but we had a little situation today that I was hoping to talk to you about. Absolutely. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine, but I know your, your son's probably going to want to talk to you about something when he gets home, and I figured I would call you before you hear it from him just so you can get our side of the story. Okay, well, that sounds serious. What's happening? I wouldn't say it's too serious, but there was a situation today, and I want to let you know that it was entirely his fault. Entirely his fault? Yes. So Adam was in English class, and a teacher caught him texting on his phone, as a lot of the kids are doing. Oh, uh, you know, I told him to stay off his phone. I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Well, it's all right. I just want to let you know, instead of confiscating the phones like we've done before in the past with other students, we're trying out a new punishment here. <laughs> I think it actually worked very well. What's the punishment? So the teacher noticed Adam on his phone and came up from behind him and tased him in the back of the neck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me? She took a taser and tased him in the back of the neck. It's our new policy when it comes to kids texting in class. Wait, so, so I'm, I'm sorry. It sounds like you're saying that you tased my son. Yes, yes. She tased him in the back of the neck. It was very effective, but I wanted you to hear it from us before you heard it from him because you know how kids can twist stories around. But well, what is there a twist? You're telling me you tased my kid. He's like 14 years old. Yeah. Is he okay? Oh, yes, he's fine now. I mean, you know, he was obviously shocked. <laughs> I'm sorry to use a bad choice of words. There. Are you laughing? Well, I just thought it was funny that I said the word shocked when I'm talking about tasing your son. But he was surprised. And... Hold on, asshole. You're telling me that my kid was texting and you tased him. Just in the back of the neck, a few jolts of electricity. Just in the back of the neck? Are you kidding me? Just a couple of real quick jolts of electricity. He shook around a bit, kind of let out a weird wail, and then fell to the ground. But. Yeah, no, but, he fell to the ground. But. The police officers are under fire for tasing people. Then you're telling me that your teachers are tasing my kid because he's texting? But I want you to listen to the bright side. We need to go back before we get the bright side. Why are you tasing my kid? We don't see any other option here to stop the kids from There's using. No other option. No. Are you kidding? What kind of place are you running there? We've tried everything when it comes to kids using cell phones in class, so we decided just to take it one step further. And the tasing thing seems to be working because he didn't touch his phone the rest of the day. <laughs> because I... he was in shock. <laughs> there's, there's that word again. Are you kidding me? Why are you tasing my kid? This is bullshit. Well, I, I don't see why you're so upset. Did you want him to use his phone in class? Because we don't. Do you have a kid? You have a kid. Well, I have hundreds of kids, if you count all the students that I have don't, to deal with. Don't ask like that with me. You're pissing me off right now. You do not go around tasing kids because they're on their cell phone. Make them check their cell phone at the door. Reprimand them. Do something. But you don't tase my kid. Well, I would think a taser is a pretty good reprimand. Honestly, I'm going to find out where you live. I'm going to show up at your house. And the least of your worries will be me tasing you. Because I'm going to beat the sh out of you and put your mouth on a curb. If you haven't been listening to this conversation, I have a lot of tasers. So if you try to attack me, sir, I will not hesitate to tase you as well. I'm not afraid of your taser. I really want you to try you to look tase at these people's children. I really want you to try to look at the bright side here, okay? He set a good example for the other students. You shut Nobody else used their phones the whole day after we tased your you son. Effective is what we like to call that. Kill me your name. My name is Taser McDaniels. Nice to meet you. At least that's what they call me around the schoolyard. Shut up, wise ass. Give me your phone. I'm serious. Okay, you want my name? I've already asked you three times. Tell me your name. Taserton Bixby. What is your name? <laughs> it's Jubal. This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. What? What are you talking about? It's Who a is this? It's a joke. Your wife Kara set you up. This is a joke? Yes. Your wife set you up. I did not taser your son. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God, man. No way. <laughs> she, no said, way. She, she said your kid's been getting in trouble for being on his phone at school and wanted me to mess with you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> But tell me, honestly, sometimes you kind of want to taser your own kid, right? Like, you were kind of jealous. <laughs> of course I want to tase them. Come on over and do it with me. <laughs>